All right, we're going to find all the second partial derivatives of this function right here. We're going to do several of them, but let's start with this guy here. So in order to find all the second partial derivatives, you have to find all the first partial derivatives. So let's do f sub x first. So this is e to the xy. It's really tiny, but you can see it on your handout. So I have to take the derivative of the power with respect to x. So y is the constant. Derivative with respect to x is 1. So here I have y e to the xy. And then f sub y is the derivative of the power with respect to y is x times the original exponential. So those you've seen before. Now if I want to do f sub x x, that means I have to take this guy and take the derivative of it with respect to x again. So start here, take the derivative with respect to x. So y is a constant. So I just look at this guy, take the derivative with respect to x. So derivative of that with respect to x is y. So this becomes y, that's the same y, times y e to the xy. So that ends up being y squared e to the xy. Then I have to do f sub x y. So I have to take the derivative of this now with respect to y. Well, now that's a variable. So I have two functions here with the variable in it. So I have to use the product rule. So the derivative of the first function times the second function plus the first function times the derivative of the second function with respect to y because of that letter. So that's going to give me x e to the xy. Simplifying it, I get e to the xy plus xy e to the xy. Okay. So now I'm going to come down here with f sub y and do f sub y y. So if I want to do the derivative of this with respect to y, that's going to be a constant. So I take the derivative of that with respect to y, and the constant just comes along. So it's going to be x e to the xy. So it's going to be x squared e to the xy. Now I know that f sub yy, or I'm sorry, that f sub yx should be the same as f sub xy. But let's see if that's true. All right, so I have to take the derivative of this guy now with respect to x. So that means that's a variable and that has a variable of x in it. So I have to use the product rule. So I'll just slide this over. So the derivative of the first times the second plus the first times the derivative of the second with respect to x. That's what that second letter is there for. So with respect to x, that's going to be derivative of that with respect to x is y e to the xy. So let's see if that looks the same. I get e to the xy plus xy e to the xy. And you see that this guy and this guy are exactly the same, just as I predicted. So again, it's, it's something that you can utilize that they're the same uh, or something you can show that they're the same. All right, let's do the next example.